Mm. You know, those of us who are animal pet lovers, you know, they can really, really save our lives. And this story right here, it really made me think how lucky uh, blessed this lady was to have her beloved cat and for those like a lot of us who live alone uh, and especially if we're of senior citizen age I think this is a, so definitely a fear of mine that um, that I'm not in a relationship right now you know it kind of I, the thought crosses my mind. What would I do if something was to happen to me in the middle of the night? Nobody's there to um, assist me. Those are the things that you think about, I guess, when you get older. It doesn't mean you don't think about them when you're young. But for sure, it's some of the things that you think about as you get older. And um, this, this, this story that was taken from the Daily Mail... Uh, it, it talks about a cat who has been hailed a hero after he saved his owner's life by pounding his paws onto her chest to wake her up while she was having a heart attack. Sam Felsted, 42, of Staple Bird, was asleep when she was awoken up by her seven-year-old cat, Billy, at 4.30 a.m. When she then realized she could not move her body and had pain shooting down her right side. So she called her mother for help. Mrs. Feston then rushed uh, her to the Nottingham Hospital in the early hours of the morning where the doctors told her she had been having a heart attack in her sleep. She believes it was Billy who saved her life. Wow. She said, I was a bit shocked. I went to bed. I felt fine. I'd even been out with the dogs. I didn't feel ill or didn't have any pains whatsoever. Suddenly, I woke up in the early morning and I was covered with sweat and I couldn't move. Billy was on my chest. He was meowing very loudly in, in the hole in my ear. He doesn't do that. He sleeps all day and all night. That's his life. He wouldn't, but he wouldn't leave me. Uh, Mrs. Felstead, who is a receptionist at um, a hospital, explained that Billy is not a very social cat and usually likes to be alone. She's added, he never woken me up in the night before. He never bothers you. He doesn't wake you for food. So mom was quite shocked. I told her he woke me up and she was even more shocked. You don't hear about that with cats. I'm just glad he woke me up. Who knows if I had not got up then, you know, it could have been worse for me. After Mrs. Felstead had been awoken by her furry companion, her mother rang 911, but they were told it would take two hours to get an ambulance. So the pair drove to the hospital. The doctors found that one of the receptionist's arteries was blocked which had caused the heart attack. She spent three days in the hospital before she was reunited with her beloved Billy. Um, and when I first came home, he wasn't bothered. He completely ignored me. He's just the same now. I tried to give him a little bit more love because I'm so grateful to him as I didn't know if I would have woken up. My alarm wasn't for another two hours, so... I don't know if I would have woken up. The doctor said it was a good job. I got to the hospital one time. I do think he saved my life. And so does everybody else around me. Wow. She also added, the doctor said it was a good job. I got to the hospital on time. Uh, Billy may have picked up on the physiological changes in his own. She said it could be the fact that he jumped on her and was meowing was a sign of his anxiety. I do, believe, I do believe he probably did save her life because that's what enabled her to get medical help. But I wouldn't go down the route, of course, of saying he did it on purpose. 
It was him who reacted to the situation. Wow. What a blessing. What a blessing. <clears throat> wow. Anyway. Having a cat or a dog. Sometimes it can save your life. All right. Let me have your comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.